Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today we'll be doing something really fun. So I'll be showing you guys how you can import mocap animation from Mixamo into Blender and you also have the possibility of importing multiple and blending them together to create very nice action. Um, so this is the site if you're not familiar with it. It's a free site and basically the steps to achieving um, importing a model, exporting a model to Blender and also importing it back to Blender is quite easy and straightforward and so I'm going to be showing you guys that today. So let's jump in and start. I will just open up a new scene where I already have the file. Just let it load. Okay, so yeah, we have the file, and this is what we want to export and apply animations to. So let's just select this model, go to file and do export. We we'll export it as an wave from um, as an OBJ file, and that should be good. I'll just select my desktop. I already have it here. So dancer. So in case you have like a very complex model with tools and other things it works just select all the model as a whole and export everything it works perfectly like that too so once you're done exporting it you can now just go to maximo and the interface is quite easy and straightforward you can see it download and here you can see upload character so you want to click on that and you just take time to bring up this menu here and now you select the character file so the character file can either be an fbx um, or an obj or i think it, and also a collider file so let's select the dancer and it's just gonna take a while to upload it so it's depending on the speed of your internet that's how fast this process is gonna take uh, usually it takes it's pretty fast come on man <laughs> okay Okay, so most of this in this tutorial, most of the process is just waiting and watching it do its job. Okay, so it has brought up another menu. So this is the auto rigger menu, and here is going to give you some guidelines to make sure your character is ready for the rigging process. Okay, so right here is telling us for best result, your character has to be in a T posed and the finger should be spread apart so um, this model um, respects that so the t-pose can either be like this or the traditional t-pose we have by the hand is straightforward um, but this works so we can proceed with next and here we have to place the markers um, to the body part so as you can see they have a very nice color coded guideline which we can follow to achieve the best result so let's start with the chain just place it around here so we we'll grab the wrist and symmetry is turned on so it's going to do the other one for you and you can always turn off the symmetry but I don't know why you want to do that um, so for the elbow so do that for that the nails, nails okay, and finally the groin so place it here okay so you just cross check if everything matches the reference and if you're good you can just hit next so it's, this is going to take time to just load it as it says two minutes high tops two minutes is going to be done um regain the character so this i'll just come back when it's done okay so once it rigs it it brings up this menu whereby it um, just test out um the deformations of the character to make sure it you're happy with the result if not you could go back and try to fix some stuff and as you can see it's the, it did a pretty nice job okay um, so now we can proceed next and so it's gonna I have a 3d character on the scene so it's not gonna save it so I can just hit next and it's gonna load it here 
and now you just can apply any animation just by clicking on it yeah so let's say we are happy with this next one a quarterback pass and so let's say we want to export it um, so we do download so so these are all the download settings so leaving it by default works um, one thing you might want to change is if your production needs it to be at 24 frames or 60 frames you can change it here um, but I don't really care for this instance I'm gonna leave it at 30 frames per second um, yeah so after that you can just hit download the file is uh, usually really small so you should not worry about large file size okay so it's done downloading now I, I can hit Control new to create a new file so I usually like to start from a blank a fresh scene so it's like clean slate and then I can import the FBX file uh, I download so the quarterback pass this one it usually names it the same name of the motion you're trying to download okay um, so as you can see it's really tiny um, you could easily scale it up but if you want to have like uniformity between production uh, one way to fix that is you can select import it okay, and set the scale let's set the scale to 100 so that if you import another animation of same character you can you don't have to rescale it you just it works automatically so as you can see it gives us a very reasonable size and now if we play the animation it works okay so let's just go quickly and um, try to add import another animation for this character uh, so I'll bring up my dope sheet let's bring up the timeline first of all playback great time okay so uh, let's go back to my dope sheet and I'll select the action editor okay so right now you can see we already ha we only have one action let's see what is okay we just have one action so let's import another action so uh, the way i imported it is same process but i saved saved it in another blend file so now i will just go to append and go to the location so i will select this belly dance and action then import this action so once you have that you can flip between them Okay, so let's say we want to just copy this, the keyframes from the other action. We can do that. We can just let's don't copy all because it's quite a lot. Let's copy a few. Okay, and go here, and we can just paste it. Um, there are other ways to do this. You could use the NLA editor. I think it works better. But anyway, so as you can see, we can just combine two animations and it all works. Yeah, so that's basically how to use Maximo, Mixamo. <laughs> Mixamo? I don't know if I pronounce that well. Anyway, so that's how to use Mixamo and Blender efficiently. So it works like charm. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And thanks to the new subscribers that are checking this channel out. And yeah, so see you next time.